welcome friends welcome to another video lecture of biovision academy and friends in today's video lecture we are going to understand about fluorescent activating cell shortening which is also known as fax okay students fluorescent activating cell shortening is a modified version of flow cytometry okay so if you want to understand about the facts then you should have an idea about the flow cytometry okay but for now let's understand about the fluorescent activating cell shortening okay so student before the discussion of fluorescent activating cell shortening i would like to give you a brief idea about the flow cytometry okay students flow cytometry is a technique which is used to determine the shape and size of the cell and complexity of the cell okay these two functions are performed by the flow cytometry by using the laser beam which is scattered by the cell okay but in a modified version of flow cytometry that is the fluorescent activating cell shortening along with the shape and size of the cell and complexity of the cell flow fluorescent activating cell shortening is also used in the identification of different type of cell in a cell mixture that is the type of the cell and it is also used to determine the dna and protein content of the cell okay and it is also used in the separation of the different type of cells from a cell mixture okay students all these tasks when we perform in fluorescent activating cell shortening then fluorescent activating cell shortening uses different property of the cell for the separation of the cell for the determination of shape and size of the cell to identify or determine the dna protein content of the cell or the separation of the cell okay so let's understand each and every point okay students in fluorescent activating cell shortening the shape and size of the cell is determined by the scattering of laser beam in forward direction okay whereas the complexity of the cell is determined by the scattering of the laser beam by the cell in sidewise direction okay whereas determination of different type of the cell is based on the fluorescent property of the cell okay and uh, dna protein content of the cell is also depend upon the fluorescent property okay whereas the separation of the cell from different type of a cell mixture or you can say uh, from a heterogeneous mixture of the cell generally the charge na nature of cells or protein are used okay so student we will discuss each and every point okay so let's first understand how the shape and size of the cell and complexity of the cell are determined by using fluorescent activating cell shortening okay let's understand this students by using fact we can also determine the shape and size and complexity of the cell which is based on the scattering of laser beam by the cell okay now suppose that student we have a different kinds of cell okay we have a cells with a small size with a large size with a different type of complexity or granular nature okay and suppose that this is the chamber of fluorescent activating cell shortening instrument okay so student by using a technique which is known as hydrodynamic flow okay hydro dynamic flow we just maintain the flow of the cell in a single line it means from this column what cells are coming from one by one okay this is the first thing now students in fact we just tag these cells or protein with different fluorescent molecule okay we will discuss this later now suppose that this is a laser beam 
सोर्स ओके दिस इज द लेजर बीम सोर्स Got it? And from this laser beam source, laser light is emitted, which is interact with the cell. Okay? And the moment this laser beam interact with the cell, cell is scattered this laser beam. Okay? And the scattering of laser beam takes place in two direction. One in a, is in a forward direction, and another one is in a sideways direction. Okay? So suppose that. this is the laser beam which is scattered in a forward direction okay and this is the laser beam which is scattered in a sideways direction okay so students the laser beam which is scattered in forward direction is known as forward scattered light forward scattered light okay whereas the laser beam which is scattered in a sideways direction is known as side scattered light or you can say side scattering okay this is the side scattered light now students when the cell is scattered the laser beam in a forward direction then this forward scattered laser beam is incident on a detector okay is incident on a detector and forward scattered light is used in the determination of size of the cell is used in the determination of size of the cell got it whereas the side scattered laser beam is used in the determination of complexity of the cell which is also incident on a detector suppose that these are the detector okay and these are used for the determination of complexity of the cell got it now students <laughs> if the size of the cell is large it means now the cells with the large size is scattered more laser beam in a forward direction it means if the amount of the forward light is increases it means size of the cell is increases okay and if the amount of the side scattered light increases it means complexity of the cell is increases okay which is uh, okay so student this is this part is very familiar with the flow cytometry okay now let's understand how the fluorescent activating cell shortening is used in the identification of different type of cells okay now suppose that students we have a different kinds of cells okay and we just tag these different kinds of cells with a different kinds of fluorescent protein suppose that we have a four type of cells and we just tag these four type of cells with a different fluorescent protein one cell is tagged with the yellow fluorescent protein second cell is tagged with the blue fluorescent protein third cell is tagged with the red fluorescent protein and the fourth cell is tagged with the green fluorescent protein okay so students when these cells with a, with a different fluorescent protein interact with the laser beam then they get excited and emit different kinds of fluorescent light okay so the cell which is tagged with the yellow fluorescent protein emit yellow light the cell which is tagged with the blue fluorescent protein emit blue light or you can say blue fluorescent light 
and the cell which is tagged with the red fluorescent protein emit red light and the cells which tagged with the green fluorescent protein emit green light when they are interact with the laser source okay so students suppose that by using hydrodynamic flow cells with a different fluorescent protein coming from this column and when they interact with this laser beam so they emit different kinds of fluorescent protein okay so the emission of different kinds of fluorescent protein is the indicator of different type of cell okay if four type of fluorescent light is emitted it means this cell mixture is contain four type of cell okay friends now second important function of the flu uh, fluorescent activating cell shortening is the amount of dna and protein content of the cell by using fluorescent activating cell shortening we can find out the protein and the dna content of the cell okay suppose that students we have a cell okay and this cell is a tag with the yellow fluorescent protein okay so when this cell with yellow fluorescent protein interact with laser beam okay so if the dna and protein content of the cell is high so a high amount of yellow fluorescent light is emitted yellow fluorescent light is emitted got it because if we tag the cell or protein with yellow fluorescent, yellow fluorescent molecule then due to higher dna and protein contain a large amount of fluorescent molecule bind with the dna and protein so after excitation the cells with the large amount of dna and protein content emit large amount of fluorescent light okay so suppose that this green fluorescent protein okay if the cell contain a very little amount of dna and protein then very little amount of green fluorescent protein bind and after excitation it emit very low amount of green fluorescent protein and the emission of green fluorescent protein is the indication of low protein and dna content okay so students by using the fluorescent property of different kinds of cell we just find out the type of the cell and the amount of dna and protein content of the cell okay so different if after interaction with laser beam if different kinds of fluorescent light emitted it means different kinds of cells are present or you can say protein are present and if the amount of the fluorescent light is high it means that cell which interact with the laser beam have contain higher amount of dna and protein and if the amount of the fluorescent light is very low low so it is the indication of very little amount of dna and protein content okay now as i told you fluorescent activating cell shortening is also used to separate the different kinds of cell okay and the separation is generally based on the charge na nature of the protein or dna or any kind of molecule okay so let's find out how this fluorescent activating cell shortening is involved in the separation of different kinds of cells okay let's find out so students suppose that different kinds of cells are coming out from this column okay are coming out from this column so in fluorescent activating cell shortening we just put type of electrode okay one is a positive electrode and another one is negative electrode got it this is the positive electrode and this is the negative electrode okay and students you know that different proteins carry different charge some proteins have the positive charge some have the negative charge and some proteins have equal amount of positive and negative charge it means they are the neutral so in this mixture three type of proteins are present or you can say three type of cells are present some proteins are positively charged some are negatively charged and some are neutral okay so if from this column a protein 
with positive charge is coming out then due to positive charge it it is attracted towards this negative electrode okay and when it is coming to this negative electrode we just put a test tube below this electrode and the protein with positive charge is just collected in this test tube okay now suppose that if a protein have negative charge so due to negative charge it attracted towards this positive electrode okay and when it is attracted towards this positive electrode we just collect this protein into different test tube correct now students suppose that we have a protein in which net charge is zero it means protein is neutral so due to neutral charge it is not able to move towards the negative electrode or in a positive electrode so this protein is collected in this test tube okay so now you can easily understand how the separation of different kinds of cells or protein is done by using fluorescent activating cell shortening okay friends so friends this is all about the fluorescent activating cell shortening which is have a multiple function okay generally fl uh, fluorescent activating cell shortening based on the fluorescent property of the molecule okay which is used in the determination of type of the cells and amount of dna and protein of the cell or you can say complexity of the cell okay so if the different fluorescent light is emitted so it means the cell contain different type of cells and the amount of fluorescent light indicate the different amount of protein or the dna if the fluorescent light is higher emitted emitted in higher amount it means cell contain higher amount of dna and protein and if the fluorescent light is less emitted it means cell contain less amount of dna and protein okay so friends it this is all about the fluorescent activating cell shortening i hope now you are able to understand about the flow cytometry and fluorescent activating cell shortening okay friends so friends if you like this video then please share this video with your friends please do subscribe our channel and friends please don't forget to press the bell icon so next time when we upload a new video you will get the notification okay friends so friends thank you very much for your precious full hearing have a nice day